If you're thinking about moving to Dallas or Fort Worth, more specifically Fort Worth, then you're going to want to stick with me in this video because we're going to take you on a tour of a beautiful Bloomfield home here in a city called Justin, Texas. Justin, Texas is a suburb of Fort Worth and the neighborhood that we're in is called Timberbrook. It is somewhat of a master plan community in the fact that it's got some pools and parks and we'll talk about all that when we go inside the house. But for now, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of where Justin, Texas is located. I am Jennifer Fowler and along with my husband and cameraman, Brandon, we run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Texas area and we have people just like you reaching out to us all the time, looking to make a move to North Texas. So if that's you, you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the info is in the description below. We'd love to help you make that move to the North Texas area. All right, so I said I'd take you on a tour of a Bloomfield model home here in Timberbrook in Justin, Texas. So let's get to it right now. Welcome home, y'all. Y'all come inside this beautiful home. As soon as you walk inside, I don't know about you, but it is probably one of the brightest model homes that we have been in. It is, it, I say that on a lot of <laughs> uh, model homes. It's so light and bright. I really, truly mean this one is really light and bright. This home is around 2,500 square feet with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a flex room uh, that could be used as a study, but we'll talk about that as we pass it. But three bedrooms and 2,500 square feet means these bedrooms are going to be really good sizes. I'm gonna take you to the first one. Oh, it's just so bright. And I know that, you know, depending on where it's situated, you know, what it faces, east, west, things like that. That is gonna make a difference on how bright your home is. Um, but these beautiful windows, and I like how there's minimal um, panes in them, but how this is pretty, I like the detail. That's really pretty, that's a beautiful detail. This bedroom does have its own ensuite bathroom, which is a really good idea, especially if you've got, you know, maybe one of your kids is in high school or even college, or you've got parents that live with you, they have their own bathroom for privacy, which is really nice. And this bathroom even has a linen closet off to the side, and it's got a closet here as well. All right, so bedroom number two is just on the other side of the foyer from the first bedroom. This one is probably a little bit smaller, but still a really good size. And it has a closet over here on this side. And once again, the beautiful detailed windows. We got a second bathroom. Remember, this was a three, oh, I think I said it was a two bathroom home. That's not true, it's three bedroom, three bathroom home. So one of them was in one of the bedrooms and then you have another hallway bathroom right here. So if you're, if you're in this bedroom, you would use that bathroom or that's where your guests would use the restroom as well. And as we keep on walking past the front door, down the foyer, this is a long foyer or hallway, which I really love. You have this room, which is a flex room. It could be a dining room if you want it to be. I think it would be best to use probably as a home office or a media room. If you had blackout curtains, you could do that as well. They have it staged here as maybe a second living area, but this would make for a very, very, very spacious home office. All right, so keep coming with me down to the living room and the kitchen. This is very spacious. I'm not sure if you can really appreciate it on video, but this is a very spacious room or kitchen and living room area. One thing I didn't talk about was the price point of this home, this Bloomfield home. This house is around 462. It has uh, about $30,000 in upgrades. Um, so it puts it around 492. However, right now at the making of this video, they are offering $30,000 um, towards design. So that brings the price back down to 462. And currently they are also offering $10,000 toward your closing cost if you use their preferred lender. So the floors that go throughout this home are a pretty big tile floor. It's kind of wood look. It is more of a grayish, so kind of a wood look tile. I do like the textured look. It is very pretty. It keeps the home looking very bright. They've chosen to do white cabinets here. One thing I do love is this is a gas 
neighborhood. So you do get that really nice gas stove. Then you keep coming on here through the kitchen and you have your very, very spacious breakfast area or this would be your dining room. Now this living room does not have a fireplace. One of their other homes here in the neighborhood does have a fireplace. I do believe that is optional. I don't know about you, but even here in Texas, we do love having a fireplace because it can get pretty cold in January and February. And I just think they're really pretty. But this home doesn't have one, um, but there are a lot of windows that flank the walls in this living room. And once again, this is a pretty spacious sized living room. And this neighborhood does have a green belt with a creek running behind it and walking trail. So if you're on this street, that gets to be your view from your backyard. I don't normally show you the pantry of a home, but this one has a lot of shelving. That's a really good size pantry. I'm a little jealous because ours isn't even half of that. So great size pantry. All the rooms in this house are just seem to be oversized. Great place here for your espresso machine that you're gonna get for Christmas. All right, let's hit the master bedroom. My second favorite place in any house is going to be that. This is quite spacious. Normally, I would say dressers usually hit about right here, but this is a pretty spacious master bedroom. Um, they even have a little bench uh, that's built into the bed here. So a lot of space if that's your thing. If you like to have chairs or a sofa in your master bedroom, there's plenty of space for that, which takes us into this light and bright master bathroom. You've got a soaking garden tub, spacious walk around shower, and this bathroom does have dual vanities. So everybody gets their own side of the bathroom. And of course you have closet and a toilet room as well. And even the laundry room in this house is pretty big. You've got space for obviously your washer and dryer here. You've got, you probably even put a refrigerator over here. And what I really like is this is the garage right here. So right off the garage, as you're coming inside, you can set your hoodies, your coats, the kids' backpacks. All of that is tucked away. So when you're in the kitchen, when you're in the living room, you don't have to see all of that. So I really, really like that that's built in here. And this laundry room, once again, um, I've mentioned in other videos, something that we're seeing a lot of in newer homes is that the laundry room is attached to the master closet or the master bathroom. It is important that anytime you go to a model home that you bring your realtor with you on the very first visit. Sometimes builders won't allow you to be represented if you don't bring your realtor with you. And while we love new construction, their contracts are very builder sided. And so you're gonna wanna make sure and take someone with you that understands the contract and that can help you navigate even with new construction. So if you're out and about and you're looking, you know, in new neighborhoods and you think, I'm just gonna get out and walk into this model home, give us a call first. We'd love to meet you there just so we can help you through the process of buying a new home. So here in the community of Timberbrook, right now they have one pool, park and playground but they are working on another pool, park, and playground. They will be building here for several years to come. And eventually there will even be um, a little section of Timberbrook that will be a 55 plus community. There is a green belt that runs along the back side, which is absolutely beautiful with a creek called Oliver Creek that runs beside it. There's also going to be a Northwest ISD elementary school because this neighborhood is uh, Northwest ISD, which is a highly rated school district. You can look that up on niche.com or bestschools.org if you're interested in learning more about Northwest ISD. While Justin is a small city, like I said, it is a suburb more of Fort Worth than it is Dallas. It's about a 30 minute drive um, to a lot of places. You've got Denton that isn't far at all. That's about 30 minutes. So there's a lot of nightlife there. There's festivals and things like that. There's a lot of one-off restaurants or you can go in the other direction in 30 minutes and you're around Alliance Airport in North Fort Worth. So there's plenty of places around Justin to go to, but even in the city of Justin itself, there's still a grocery store. There's still several restaurants, but you're not in the hustle and bustle of Dallas or even Fort Worth. Justin is located off I-35 West. So if you look on the map, you've got I-35 West and I-35 East. East takes you to Dallas, and that is where it's gonna be really built up and, and more highly congested. West takes you to Fort Worth, 
and there's a lot more open space and open land. So if you're coming from a place like California or Washington, New York, New Jersey, and you're used to driving, but you're always passing restaurants and shops, that's not gonna be the case here. It might be the same amount of driving, but you get to drive with open land, cows and things like that before you get to wherever it is that you're headed. So don't let the open land fool you into thinking that this place is super far out. It just looks that way because it's not as built up. But over the years, this place in this area, Justin, North Lake, North Fort Worth, will be built up more. So there will be more amenities for convenience. We have a video on Timberbrook itself and where it is located in Justin. So make sure you check that one out and we'll see you on the next.